What is up guys, it is Nistro here, and today we are talking of uh, Super Heavy Samurais. So, um, we know that there are three new Super Heavy uh, Samurais coming in, uh, Bowser's of Legend, Light's Revenge, and I just wanted to go over them with you guys. So, uh, the first one we're going to talk about is Super Heavy Samurai Fist. Now, uh, it's a level 2 uh, machine tuner. Honestly, um... I already read the card and I can tell you that Trumpeter is still better. But um, I think this card could be a one of if you play the right build. So what he does is that during the battle phase, if a super heavy samurai monster you control destroys an opponent's monster by battle this battle phase, um, you can uh, immediately after this effect resolves, synchro summon one synchro monster using uh, monsters you control including this card. So he's kind of like, uh, if your opponent is so if you have like a, a big super heavy that uh, destroyed a monster by battle, like Big Benkei, which is what is how it, it was did in the anime, um, you, you get to synchro summon into you know a synchro during the battle phase. So if you if you are a warlord Susanoo during the battle phase, that actually would not be a bad idea because one he can steal opponents uh, spawn trap cards from the grave, and he's a thirty eight hundred beater, so um, it would definitely be pretty strong. Now, uh, the best part about this card is uh, if you have no spawn chakras in your graveyard, you target a super heavy samurai monster you control, a synchro monster, it has to be a super heavy samurai synchro monster, reduces level by one, and then you special summon this card from the graveyard, and you know, the whole you can't summon except for super heavies for the rest of the turn. So he's kind of like a level eater for super heavy samurai synchros, so it doesn't matter the level of the synchro, there's no like level restriction as long as they're, you know, on the field and they have at least two levels and you know you can summon this guy and um honestly it's not something all that useful if it was for any super heavy samurai monster and not just synchros i think this would be maybe a two maybe three but the fact is is that it's only it only applies to synchros so it's not really that useful and also the fact that it's a level two tuner um, we already have enough level 2 tuners in the deck. It's like we need more level 1 and level 3 tuners to really uh, change the uh, like the diversity in the deck, but um, I Mean I guess him lowering a level does kind of change that but it's like not in a way where I feel like it should have been done You know So moving on we have super heavy samurai helper Which is a, a little better in my opinion, but uh, still not anything too great so uh, level one um, earth machine zero attack zero defense during damage calculation if your defense engine monster battles an opponent's monster while you have no spell and trap cards in your graveyard uh, which is a quick effect you can discard this card and target one super heavy samurai monster you control other than the battling monster and your battling monster gains defense equal to that other super heavy samurai monsters defense so um, yeah, if you have two super heavy samurai monsters, um, you can have one gain the, the defense of the other, so... And, uh... During that damage calculation only, I, I just had to uh, proofread it to make sure that it wasn't permanent. Because if it was permanent, then I think this card would be amazing, but it's not. Um, honestly... The fact is, it has to be a battling an opponent's monster. So I, I just think Soul, Soul Buster Gauntlet is, is still just a better choice of card in general. Just because it just doubles your defense instead of having to rely on having another monster on board. So um, that's one thing. So, you know, it feels like this support is conflicting with what's already there. You know, I feel like support should um, advance a deck forward and not really uh, conflict with what we already have, you know? That, that, that's what, that's what good, good support should be, but unfortunately... This support isn't really looking um, all too bright so far. And uh, Helper does have a graveyard effect. So when an opponent's monster declares a direct attack, you can banish this card from your graveyard, target a super heavy sound monster in your graveyard, and then special summon it. So there's no level restriction um, for the monster that you summon. And it's 
it, it does happen when, it can only happen when your opponent declares a direct attack but it might just save you from a game like imagine you have a warlord uh susano on your grave i, I just keep using him because he's like the easiest super heavy to summon <laughs> synchro to summon honestly um and i mean other than like shutenoji but like shutenoji is like more of just like if you bring him out, you, you're usually only bringing him out because your opponent has back row, you know? But still, um, you know, in case you have a Synchro in the graveyard, have a big Benkei in your graveyard, you know, you can have a lot of good Super Heavies in your graveyard. And, you know, when your opponent declares a Dark Attack, maybe they right you and you didn't have anything to stop it. So, you know, you could bring back your Super Heavy Samurai Monster. Um, will it matter sometimes? Probably not, but there are times where it could be like a late game type of thing. Still, though... It, it, it does nothing for the deck in general. Um, the, the support could be way better, but honestly, I, I think it's it's just nice. We're still getting more super heavy samurai support. Um, and to round off the super heavies in uh, Battles of Legend Lights Revenge, we do have the level 12 synchro uh, super heavy samurai steam train king. That was the, and these are the the confirmed names, the confirmed English names as well. So. Um, yeah, so it's a level 12 synchro. It requires one super heavy samurai tuner and two non tuners, which is kind of sad because if it would have just said one or more non tuner super heavy samurai monsters, this would have been as easy to summon as a thief and a trumpeter. That and that is just so easy, it's just <laughs> because both of those monsters could special summon themselves for free. But you know, I, I get why they put the two or more clause, you know, they didn't want to make. Like, because this guy has 4,800 defense, you know. Being able to summon that off of two monsters kind of would have been a bit broken. E even if, you know, Super Heavy Samurai still aren't really up there yet. I feel like it would have been a giant step forward. And, you know, Ko Konami doesn't really take steps like that, you know. Uh, especially now with Super Heavy Samurai. So, um, yeah, what he does is he can attack well in defense position just like every Super he Samurai uh, Synchro. And, you know, you apply his defense. So once per turn, you can discard up to two cards and then target that many cards your opponent controls and destroy them. I think with his summoning condition, th that should have been a quick effect. Because just having a regular effect, I mean, it's, it's still good. But having a quick effect would actually make this card, like, really something that you would want to go into. And uh, his last effect is that once per turn, you can banish all spell and trap cards from the graveyards. So, both from, so from both graveyards, and if you do, inflict 200 damage to your opponent for each card banished. So, you know, in a situation that you already use your Susanoo, or you're playing a deck that really relies on their spell and trap cards, um, you can just banish everything and, you know, um, inflict 200 for each. And this is a card that, if it would have had an easier summon condition, it probably would have encouraged Super Heavy Samurai players to try, like, playing a spell a trap card or two because i know like there are builds where you could probably make that work where you could try to avoid the super heavy samurais that or that, that say that you have to have no spell and trap cards in your grave and try to play a deck that uh focuses around that but because of how hard he is to summon that that's a lot less likely to happen but still um i mean honestly it, it's it's not the hardest thing to summon simply because um Let's think about it. Okay, so all the Super Heavy Samurai tuners are level 2. Or all the good ones, anyway. The only other one is, like, Drummer, and nobody really uses drums. So all of them are level 2. So Trumpeter, um, Fist, and uh, Battle Ball, right? The, those are those are the, the three go-to tuners. So let, let's say Trumpeter, right? Normally, you would have, like, a, a Scales, right? So Scales and Trumpeter would make a level 6. Uh, Shutenoji. Shutenoji can clear your opponent back row. They could. It, it's going to be like a Harpy's Fetter Duster. It's going to clear their back row. And um, from there, it, since Shutenoji is a level 6, all you need is a level 4 monster, uh, like another scales. Like, so let's say if you get scales again, or, you know, if you um, search it or something, you know, like maybe you didn't use scales the first time, you use scales like. Let's say you use Soul Piercer and Trumpeter the first time, and then Soul Piercer searched you to Scales, and then using Scales and uh, to, to get back your Trumpeter, then you would have a 2, a 4, and a 6 on board, and you could Synchro all three of those guys 
to make um, Steam Train King. Now, because of his effect isn't a quick effect, if it seems like a lot of effort for nothing, unless you know you have the ability to push for game, because he does have a lot of defense, 4,800, and with a Soul Buster Gauntlet and a Soul Piercer attached, he can go up to 9,600. And you know, with the Pendulum on scale, he can attack twice. <laughs> Like, it's, it's crazy how strong this deck could get and the OTK potential. The only thing is, is that if you do that combo, you know, it would be better to, get, to just go into a Saratobi uh, first turn if you have that combo, because, um, simply because uh, Saratobi is better at popping spell and trap cards. He actually has a quick effect where he can pop a spell and trap card. And, and inflict damage, and he has a 2800 defense, so it's uh, it's not a bad bargain. But you know, Steam King, I think he's just more of a one of, not anything too special, but it definitely is something <laughs> crazy if you do pull it off, so. Now lastly, I wanna talk about Daihachi and Musashi, all right? So Daihachi is the level four one that searches Super Heavy Samurai Soul Monsters, which honestly gets you any Super Heavy Samurai monster in the deck. I feel like Super Heavies will not be playable in a competitive scene until we get Super Heavy Samurai Daihachi. All right, man. And uh, Musashi, although he isn't completely necessary, I think we should just get him eventually, uh, even if a Shonen Jump promo, because I, I feel like, you know, they they like they like stalled um, him in the TCG for too long. And I feel that, um, it, it would have been better if, if he would have been released already, you know? Especially since Super Heavy Samurais aren't really that much of a deck, you know? It's like, they have OTK potential, and, you know, they do have some fun, crazy combos. But at the end of the day, they, they do still struggle with a lot of things, you know? Um, back row is still a problem for them, even with all their back row removal, like Thief. And you can even play Archfiend Eccentric, that, that's what I do. Simply because it's, it's easy to play, and um, it, it, it allows for, for more um, control, you know? But still, uh, Daihachi is like a one card, any Super Heavy Samurai monster you want from your deck. I don't know why the TCG hasn't printed this yet. Um, it wouldn't do too much to Super Heavy Samurais. I don't know if they're saving it for some near, some weird uh, Arc V set where we're getting anime cards or, you know, whatever. But I, I just think Konami should just hurry up and release this card out. And that the Shonen Jump should release Musashi, since I think they still have the rights to it. But, you know, they had the rights to Shutenoji back in 2015. And the reason why I feel like Musashi, you know, should have been released already is because it was like the same situation with uh, Sh uh, Shutenoji, where he was, um, where when there was a voting poll for the what should be the next Shonen Jump promo, and Shutenoji was on that list. Now, obviously, he didn't win. And, you know, after that, we just saw him in a super rare in Clash of Rebellion. Like, <laughs> and you're telling me Konami can't just do that again? They can't just uh, take Musashi from Shonen Jump because they're not using him at all, you know? I don't know, man. Maybe he'll get printed in a uh, Arc V manga in the future, hopefully. But if not, um, I don't know, man. Super Heavy's me. <laughs> I feel Super Heavy's really need this guy. But, um, yeah, that's really all I have to say for now, man. Um, this new Super Heavy Samurai support is coming out Friday. Um, may, I'm, I'm probably going to play, like, one Fist and one Steam King. I'm, I don't think I'm going to play Helper. But, um, yeah, I, I, I guess it's really all for, for now. Um, you know, Battles of Legend Lights Revenge comes out this Friday. And this was Nistro here. Nistro out.